everyone, Ruben Spiker here, and I'm at the Drumio headquarters today. I want to share how you can get 30 different sounds from your snare drum, but we're not even gonna touch a tuning key. So I want you to take your key and just toss it aside for today. So how you can get 30 sounds. Now, generally when you think snare drum, you think, okay, there's like five sounds maybe you can get without tuning, but I have a whole other list I wanna show you, and we're gonna have to get a little bit creative to do that. If you're not really the creative type, I have a fun mental exercise I wanna share with you. So just imagine for a second, close your eyes, you're in like a white room, a blank room, there's a table in front of you, but on that table you have a pen and a piece of paper. Now the challenge is to try to come up with 10 creative things only with this in front of you. Now, what are you gonna do? So I want you to put this aside for a sec, hold that thought because I wanna show you 15 sounds now that are really easy to get. You probably already know a bunch of them. One is that classic wallet on the snare drum trick. Those sounds are quite easy to get. All I did was throw different objects on the snare. And I also hit the snare in a couple different spots and you probably already knew a bunch of those. Everyone knows the wallet trick and uh, many people already know the cut out the whole drum head thing to get the deeper sound. But it's awesome, so I really wanted to include those and we didn't tune anything, so it's perfect. So if I go back to the paper and pen now, the challenge I wanted you to do and was hoping maybe you would go to was like, thinking beyond the pen and paper. So I just told you to do 10 creative things. Now, maybe you thought, okay, I can draw a picture. Okay, that's one. Uh, another picture that's different. Number two, I maybe write a poem. Oh, I'm kind of stuck. And if you got there, I want to challenge you to remember that we're in a room with a table. You also have the paper. You can pick up and do something else with the paper. You could rip the paper, fold it into a crazy design like do origami. You're also a drummer. You could have just said, okay, I'll do something creative on the table but you know, maybe you got hung up on that. So with this next section, I wanna challenge you with like the sounds that we're gonna access. I want you to get into the mindset of thinking beyond just what the regular uses of the snare drum are. So now that we are thinking a little bit deeper with that pen and paper analogy, we can start using that on the snare drum. So just like with the pen and paper thing, you have the table in front of you, you have endless options with the pen and paper. With the snare, you also have like your sticks and you can use those to, manip uh, to manipulate the sound as well. One really common thing you probably see a lot of people do is this cool clapping effect. But you can actually do that with just one stick as well by hitting like the bottom of the stick on the head first before you hit in the cross stick. Cool for electronic stuff or if you have to play a dance groove or whatever, that's really fun. Um, now moving further with these stick on stick ideas, you know, you have a cross stick, but you can actually really affect the pitch by moving the stick around up and down the rim. And again, further with this cross stick idea too. If your sticks are nicely used and chewed up from playing and practicing, you can actually do some really cool sort of scratching effects on the stick. Now using that one with the scratching one is something I really love to do. And the more chewed up your sticks are, the better it's gonna sound. So you can take this thing a little bit further and you know do it on your stick here and you can even take your stick and pull it across the rim which is some crazy effect it's kind of a lighter one
Uh, and one last stick on stick idea is the classic jazz. Just the cross stick, you can do a match grip too. So if we take this whole idea of going even further with like the pen and paper idea, you can put your sticks down and even use your hands on the snare drum too, just your bare hands. You'll see a lot of guys like Benny Grab and all these cool percussionists do stuff like that. Now we can also go further and use our elbow to also do some pitch bending on the snare drum. And another thing I like to do with that is have my hand to mute the snare drum as well. Looking further at the drum, you also have stuff on the outside of the shell. You have the shell itself. You could even play the tension rods. Not the most useful sound in the world, but it is another sound you can get from the snare drum. So far, throughout the whole video, we've been playing the top of the snare drum, and you can actually flip it over and play the bottom too, but you have to be careful, because you might puncture the head. Apparently, this is what Questlove does to get his crazy tones, like, off the D'Angelo record. There's a cool video with him sitting on a couch explaining that to somebody, that he would flip the snare drum over. So, this is what that sounds like. That was pretty sick. You can do really some like cool drum and bass stuff. So we also have the wires here as well, and you can make use of those. Again, careful, you don't want to completely ruin your wires, but playing on them a bit won't hurt. You know, you can do some really cool scratching sounds. All right, after that last section, we're now at 25 different sounds we've already created. Now I have five more for you, um, but they are quite weird, so I can't guarantee you can use these. You know, they're like, you know, you know maybe if you're filming a, a movie and you need some crazy horror sounds, or maybe you play in a free jazz group and need some really funky sounds. Actually, a couple of them I did learn from watching free jazz concerts. So here are those sounds. Again, like super weird. I don't really know where you would use that except if you were maybe filming a movie and you had some really weird intense scene and you needed to build tension. You could use that. I'm just like grading the tip of my stick like how you would do on a cymbal, but on the inside of the snare drum, on the rim. One more crazy sound you can do is sort of a dubstep sound with dragging your finger across the head. And to do that, you need to get a towel, make it a little bit wet so your finger has some grip. And so you can do that kind of thing. Uh, moving again around to the, the drum, we have the tension rod, but you can also squeeze your stick into that little space here. And if you use this muscle like this, as if we were holding a stick here, and you do that between the tension rod and the shell, you can get this effect. And while you're down here, you know, playing with the tension rod, you can also play the shell of the snare. This does not have a great sound. I've seen some people do it to kind of get like the weirdo effect as well. And you can also just jam out. Now finally, this is probably the weirdest one of, it, of all of the sounds. I think the only place you could use it is probably maybe if you're in a drum battle, someone plays some crazy thing. You're just like, Woo! wow. <laughs> so that's 30 different sounds you can get from a snare drum without even touching a tuning key. Now, if we miss something and maybe there's like some other object like organic almonds or something that you put on the snare drum to get a sound, let us know in the comments. And maybe if you learn something new, we'd love to hear that as well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I really hope you'll walk away with this idea that you can always get tons of things to happen out of just one thing. 
and um, you know, remember that mental exercise of the pen and paper. Like, you know, try put that to use on your kit or maybe in your everyday life and have fun. I'll see you in the next video.